So, Cayman last week hosted one of the UK's most accomplished Paralympic women swimmers. Emma Hollis was on island for Honoring Women Month, hoping to reach Cayman's young people with her inspiring story. A swimmer walks up on the blocks and practices her dives. Certainly no reason to make a splash, until you take a closer look. Emma Hollis is a British swimmer with a condition called brittle bones disease. She broke her arm as a child and it never fully healed. My right arm, that's as straight as it goes and I have no wrist rotation and things. Her visit to Cayman was for Honoring Women Month, but more on that in a moment. Let's go back to September when she qualified for her first Paralympics. I worked so hard to get there and it was, it was like a dream come true. She was coming off a five medal performance at the 2011 International Paralympic Committee European Championships and she was just hours from competing at the 2012 Paralympics when she fell, dislocated her elbow and broke her ankle. I was given the opportunity to go but I was never going to give up my dream that easily. So she took the deck, removed the boot from her right leg and dove in for the 400 freestyle. As you might expect, it was far from her best swim. In fact, she finished last in her heat by a lot. And the third British competitor coming home in lane five in the name of Emma Hollis. But the noise from the crowd was unbelievable. It was an experience that I'll just never forget. It really lifts you. Pretty cool, right? That's why she was in Cayman. I visited some schools and some swimming clubs around here just to kind of get my message across that if people tell you you can't do it and if you want it that much, it doesn't matter. She says there's no need to be embarrassed about what makes you an individual. I was every now and again, but then I just kind of thought, wait a minute, this is me, this is a part of who I am. And you don't want to be a member of the crowd because you're not you. You need to be individual and you need to be who you are. Because then you're winning any race, no matter where you place. All right, and kind of a fun little note here. Emma also, while she was here, participated in the Seaback 800 meter open water swim and she was the first woman to cross the line.